Kate, you're a science teacher. Did you know that if the Earth were just 10 feet closer to the sun, it would burn up? It's a well-known fact. Jim, if that were true, every time you climbed a ladder, your hair would burst into flame. The Earth has an elliptical orbit anyway, so... Wait, where did you get this information? The internets, of course. I use the Google. <sighs> there are incredible resources available on the web, but all of that information comes at a cost. How do you efficiently find the information you need? How do you ensure that that information is accurate and unbiased? What kind of copyright rules do you need to be aware of when you use resources? We can help you answer those questions and get started exploring the richness of the Internet today. You can start by building your understanding of how to narrow down your search to find just what you need. Then, how to evaluate if the information you've found is from a reliable source. And finally, learn some tips and tricks for searching Creative Commons and YouTube for educational resources. Next, you can put some of those skills into action through a classroom project from the Put It Into Practice section. Then, reflect and decide on how best to apply web-based resources in your classroom. Don't forget to refer to the Reference Tools section along the way to answer specific technical questions about using different tools. There are resources out there for students with special needs as well, so check out the assistive tech tutorials listed in this section too. The information available on the web is massive and continues to grow. View the Spotlight resources to learn how to quickly find just what you need when you need it.